How would you guys like to see a Grand Theft Auto movie and what would make it even better starring Eminem? We're going to be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So Grand Theft Auto movies have been a rumor that has been around really over the last couple of decades, ever since GTA sort of claimed to fame and popularity with Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. There have been tons of rumors and reports that a GTA movie would work really well. Well, and we've seen a ton of successful video game adaptations be turned into movies, whether it's Assassin's Creed or whether it's The Last of Us or whether it's Uncharted. We've seen them very successfully done. The only one that hasn't really turned out to be anything is Grand Theft Auto, which might be the biggest video game of them all. So speaking on the Bugsy Malone's Grandest Game podcast, which is on the BBC's website, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Kirk Ewing, the co-founder of the virtual avatar app VMe, claimed that Rockstar Games once turned down a GTA movie starring Eminem. So Ewing claims that a late night conversation with Sam Hauser nearly led to the movie being greenlit. During the podcast, he said, because of the relationship that I had with Rockstar and I had with Sam Hauser, I actually tracked him down to his hotel room one night where I knew he was going to be staying for a while. And the two of us stayed up late and talked about the possibility of making a film. So first and foremost, that sounds a little bit stalkerish and a little bit creepy. I tracked him down to his hotel one night because I knew where he was going to be staying. But regardless, he went on to say this was just after Grand Theft Auto 3. And I think at that point, it was still in Sam's mind that it might be something he wanted to do. He went on to say, I remember taking a call at about 4 a.m. from one of the producers in L.A. with an offer to make a film. And he said, Kirk, we've got Eminem to star and it's a Tony Scott film. Five million on the nose. Are you interested? He said he phoned up Sam and said, look, you need to listen to this. They want Eminem in the Grand Theft Auto movie and Tony Scott to direct it. He said, not interested. And he followed up by saying, at that point, they withdrew from any conversation about making a film when they realized that the media franchise that they had was bigger than any movie that was going on at the time. And Rockstar has kind of always had this attitude about Grand Theft Auto, two parts of it. Number one, they do believe it is bigger than pretty much any movie or other piece of media out there. And number two, they hate giving up control. And if they were to make a movie because they are not movie producers, they would have to put it in the hands of someone else. With their new success, many people wanted Rockstar to come hither, not least the movie industry. Kirk Ewing had been a pal of the original DMA coders from way back, and as it turned out, was one person well-placed to try to make that happen. Now, as an agent, he was trying to see if a tie-in with Hollywood could actually come off. Because of the relationship that I had with Rockstar and I had with Sam, I actually tracked him down to a hotel room one night where I knew he was going to be staying, and the two of us stayed up late and uh, talked about the possibility of making a film. And this was just after three. And I think at that point, you know, it was still in Sam's mind that it might be something that he wanted to do. GTA 3 had hit the culture so hard, the biggest stars in the world were now in the mix. Actually, I don't want to tell this story. Should I tell this story? Go on, tell this story. <laughs> tell this story. I remember taking a call about 4 a.m. Uh, from a producer in Los Angeles with an offer to make a film. And he said, Kirk, we've got Eminem to star, right? And it's a Tony Scott film, five million on the nose. Are you interested? And I phoned up Sam and I said, look, listen to this. They want Eminem in the Grand Theft Auto movie and, and uh, Tony Scott to direct. And he said, not interested. You know, and at that point, they withdrew from any conversation about making a film when they realized that the media franchise that they had, that what they had, was bigger than any movie that was going on at the time. Now, to give you guys a little bit of the timeline here, because this happened right after Grand Theft Auto 3 released, that was in 2001. It became one of the best-selling video games of the year. And although it's unclear when the conversation happened, Grand Theft Auto 3 went on to sell over 2 million units by February 2002. And at the same time, Eminem actually released his probably most successful movie and box office hit, 8 Mile, which achieved nearly $250 million of revenue 
at the box office. So it's very clear that Eminem was looking to star in a movie. It's just 8 Mile would have been a whole lot different than what we would have gotten in a Grand Theft Auto movie. Now, I'm guessing at the time, it would have been based around the story of Grand Theft Auto 3, considering that would have been the one that just came out. Now, in case you also don't know who this is, Tony Scott is actually the director of the original Top Gun from 1986, which is one of the best movies of all time. So are you disappointed that we never got to see this GTA film come to life featuring Eminem and one of the most iconic Hollywood directors ever? I do think it could have been pretty cool, but we know Rockstar is pretty against stuff like that, especially when it comes to pop culture and media being made about them. Remember that documentary drama called The Game Changers that was about Rockstar and it was on the BBC? Rockstar actually responded on social media to this. They were kind of trolling them. They said, was Basil Brush busy? What exactly is this random made up bollocks? And then also saying, this new Rent-A-Ghost isn't as good as I remember. So long story short, Rockstar isn't necessarily a huge fan of things, number one, they don't have control over, but also number two, people or things making movies or media about them. They definitely try to keep a low profile, and that's exactly what I think they wanted to do here. They wanted to focus on making video games, and they didn't want to get involved in something that would take them out of making video games. Now, as of when I'm recording this video, Rockstar nor its parent company, Take-Two Interactive, have responded to this report, but I would have to safe to say that this is probably true. And we also know that even though there wasn't a Grand Theft Auto movie, there have been a ton of A-list stars that have joined the voiceover and motion capture roles of Grand Theft Auto games in the future, like actor Samuel L. Jackson for Frank Tempenny, Ray Liotta for Tommy Versetti, Comedians like Ricky Gervais have appeared, and Eminem has actually popped up on the game's celebrated soundtrack as a guest star on a Dr. Dre track recorded for GTA Online's DLC, The Contract. So Eminem, I guess you could say, finally made his way into Grand Theft Auto. It just didn't happen in the form that we originally thought he was going to be in, and that is a Grand Theft Auto movie. So again, let me know what you think about everything we talked about in this video today in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Number one, what would you think of a GTA movie with Eminem? Do you think that would be good or bad? And if Rockstar did a Grand Theft Auto movie today, what story would you want it to be about? GTA 5 with Michael Trevor and Franklin, Nico Bellic, one of its DLCs like Luis Lopez or Johnny Klebitz, going back to Vice City or San Andreas. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.